So this is what I read and what I heard. Kevin Porter Jr. was in Manhattan, out in New York with his girlfriend, who is a former WNBA player. She was drafted fourth overall 2021. Not in WNBA right now. It's crazy how you can be amazing and still not be good enough. But they went out to a club, or went out party, had some fun. And it looks like he came back to the hotel and she locked him out the room because there was an argument. He got security to let him back in the room. And when he got in the room, he beat her up. And I guess her face, certain parts is fractured. It's not good. So he's being charged with assault. And he went to jail and got bonded out for $75,000. First thing first, his contract is, I'm paraphrasing because I'm not looking at a screen, well, not the numbers. His contract, I will say, is a four-year, $80 million, I believe $75 million deal. Only one year is guaranteed. That's about $15 to $17 million probably. So, you beating up on your woman can potentially cost you $60 million right now and the potential for next contracts because he's a starter in the NBA. He dropped 50 points on the Bucks last year. He's a great player and the potential probably put 200 million. So we just going to round it to two. This L, if you don't play in the NF, um, NBA again, will cost you probably around 250 million. And you're young, so I am being nice. It could be more than that. Young fellas, my young people that watch this, y'all. My dad told me when he was alive, son, don't put your hands on no woman. It's not worth it. If a woman ever gets you mad enough where you feel you have to put your hands on her, just leave. Always stuck with that. Yes, I've been mad at women before. Never not once put my hands on a woman. And it's deeper with me because his ex will happen to become the mother of my brother. So she was basically like a stepmom. She had a um, guy, her and my dad separated. She had a guy. She was a done with him, wanted to leave. He ain't want her to leave. He ended up killing her and him while my little brother was there. So I'm very, I don't play with no domestic violence because I have seen personally how it can escalate to, I can't have you nobody case. So I don't even play with it. It's, 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 you can't, you can't do that with me. Now, the other side of it is like, okay, what should the NFL, or the NBA, I'm keep on saying NFL, uh, the NBA do with him? We know Miles Bridges. He had a similar situation last year, and we haven't seen him in the NBA since. They're trying to send him to the Pistons. Don't send woman beater to the Pistons. I don't care how good you is. We suck anyway. Keep your butt over wherever you at. So I don't even know his situation. So now I'm seeing that the Houston Rockets is trying to trade him. So they're like, we'll give you draft picks. We Nobody want somebody. You didn't even just beat up your wife or just a regular woman. You beat up somebody that's in your industry and that's probably respected in your industry. WNBA players probably know and love her because they played with her and known her for most of their lives. NBA players probably know and love her because they've been around around her for most of their lives. You picked the wrong one, dog. It wasn't wasn't a good move. So I automatically say he needs to be out of the NBA for at least 12 months. A year, we got to kick you out. The other half of it, where it's like people say he needs to just be out forever. How old is Michael? Um, how old is Kevin Porter Jr.? He's young. You can't hold one bad mistake against somebody for the rest of their life. Chris Brown, him and Rihanna got into it back in the day. Look how he matured as a man, how he had matured as an artist. Imagine they said, up, oh, you didn't. Hey, Rihanna, you can't never make music again. Um, Miguel Cabrera, he's on our team right now. He's having a farewell tour around the whole league. Everybody loving him, the respect him. 
I believe he had about two. I'm, I don't know for a fact. I believe he had about two domestic violence um, cases against his wife. So if he didn't beat up his wife twice and we still celebrating him right now because I'm hoping he's not the man that he was when he was doing that stuff a decade ago. You see Ray Rice, he did it and he's out. So what sucks is because now let's say him and the old girl was married, the WX WNBA player. I'm assuming she's She's not working, so she's not making no money, no real money. She's not making over $200,000 a year, I can guarantee you that, probably. i say she's a model also, she could be, but let's just say, for conversational purposes, she's not making no money. She's depending on the guy that just got the four-year, $80 million contract. So, let's say you stay with him. You decide to stay with him. Now his career is over with, he can't provide for you. His career is over with. He can't provide for himself. You broke, he broke. Both of y'all took this L's. So it's not like that she shouldn't have said something. It's just a tough situation all around. Fellas, do keep your hands off them ladies. Celebrities, y'all just dumb it in a box of damn rocks. I, I just don't understand why you putting your hands on women and you are a celebrity that's rich. I don't get it. But I wasn't raised the way you guys was raised. Hope they figure it out. What's your thoughts in the comments?